some training. Mm -mm. And um, I picked Karen to be my ticket master. We're going to duplicate what it's like to actually okay, do the, the cooking part of the show. So um, Karen is going to be the ticket master. And as people participate and help out, and Karen, you're going to give the, re the tickets out. Susie, you're going to pretend that you have the recipe. So you're going to be our recipe reader. Got it. Um, and so you're going to be directing us in what we should do. Now, um, are you guys ready to make a Christmas tree out of a veggie pizza? Okay, so here's what we did, and I need somebody to just mix this up. Oh, what is your name again? Gina. Gina. Gina is going to mix this up. What we did is we added um, a clove of, and pretend Gina has the garlic press, and we're going to add a clove of garlic and some <laughs> pampered chef still mix, which is absolutely fabulous, and it makes all these great dips. So it's cream cheese, mayo, and uh, dill dip, and one clove of garlic. How much That's mayo? Um, yeah. About a half a cup of mayo to one block of cream cheese. So Gina, I want you to spread it on there. So who's somebody who's washed their hands? I did. Okay, make sure she gets a ticket for helping out. And what was your name again? Chris. Chris. Do you like cooking, Chris? I love cooking. You love cooking. Perfect. All right. You are responsible for making the green of the Christmas tree. Come on over here. Okay. This is our manual food processor. I had a friend um, uh, say, and I love this, totally, totally stealing it. There are no original Pampered Chef thoughts. We just steal each other's lines. <laughs> Since I started Pampered Chef, I have my own private sous chef. His name is Manuel. He goes with me wherever I go. Sorry, you cannot take him home tonight. He goes home with me. So if you would like your own Manuel, um, it's called Manual Food Processor. Now, he's a little bit different than our food chopper. So um, all you have to do is, like, he's got, like, a three-cup capacity. So anything that makes water, like you're doing your salsa, you're doing, you know, uh, your eggs. So just go to it, just kind of like you're doing a car, all the way up, all the way down, and you need that. So, um, your name again? Carmela. Carmela. We're going to make the snow that's going to go on top of our Christmas tree. You're going to be using my, my original glove, the food chopper. And you've got to have a little bit of an attitude, Carmela. And um, if you've had a bad day at work, I want you to visualize this is the bald spot on top of his head. And you just whack it right there. Oh, all the way to the cutting board. Let's hear you. Okay. All right. Keep on going to all this, but don't get our star. Here's our little star. All right, who else was helping out? Now, that's our scoop and spread. All right, anybody nice. make sandwiches? Anybody make sandwiches? Mm -hmm. Here you kids. Okay, this side to scoop on the mayonnaise, the peanut butter, whatever. This side mm -hmm. to spread it, and then you've got your serrated edge to cut the sandwich in half. It's absolutely fabulous. Okay, this is my trick. Um, Linda, come over here. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> Did you drop my... No, I have my star on top. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So now you need to start... Okay, this is my secret. Okay, take a close look. Our cream cheese mixture is on top of our veggie pizza. This will also work on our fruit pizza. We are going to pre-slice it before we top it. So we have this beautiful thing, it's the centerpiece of our table, and then we go to slice it up and we mush it up. So the better thing is to pre-slice it. So I'm going to have you go ahead and kind of pre-slice it. And then who is my spreader? You wear my spreader? No, she's Gina, Gina, my spreader. Gina, yes, you're going to have to do your magic once again. Because okay. after she slices it, um, you're going to re-spread the cream cheese. Okay. okay, why don't you start from back here and go for it. Go all the way? Yeah, go all the way. There we go. Do you know, I don't worry. the pre-slicing. That's so smart. Oh, my gosh. Best. Oh, we need bigger Dessert pizzas, too. Dessert yeah, pizzas, too. Yeah, there we go. go. All right. And then you kind of come across. So, Gina, you're going to re-spread okay. as soon as she's done. Now, that's our, our, our... Anybody know what that's called when I go like this and I put my hands out? It's fill in the blank. Who can tell me what she's using? Pizza cutter. cutter. Okay. Now, Ticketmaster, what do you use a pizza cutter for? Pizza. Okay. Brownies. That's boring. Pancakes. But what else? Brownies. Pancakes. Pancakes. Rice Krispie Treats. Our entrepreneur tickets. Sandwiches. Okay. Coffee cakes. Sandwiches. Coffee cakes. cakes. Noodles. You can roll Brownies. Your noodles. Noodles. Now, she did anybody say pancakes? I have pancakes. 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 P
quesadillas. Excellent idea. Yeah, pizza cutters not just for pizza. Make sure you use it for all kinds of things. If anybody wants crustless little finger sandwiches because you're doing a foo foo little bridal shower or something, that's great. Okay, so now do you see we are re spreading the cream cheese? Now, if you were wondering how I did it, it's just crescent rolls. And I made it look like. Ones? Okay, so, all right. True confessions, I started up with the cheap crescent rolls, and I went, oh my god, these are awful. So then I got the Pillsbury crescent rolls. So this is really this is for good oh, crescent you. rolls on top of the crampy crescent rolls, okay? <laughs> but is it the big ones or the little, the regular size ones? For regular common. size ones. So okay, so we need green, and that's not going to be enough green, so we're going to need more broccoli. That's for all right, so we need a three. Okay, so while she's doing that, this thing is called the Zester Scorer. Um, you have not tried. Did you wash your hands? No, not yet. Okay, then go wash your hands. Um, who else washed their hands and have not helped? All right, come on over here. I will have you do this. This is my scorer, and I want you to take the score, the this off the cucumber. And then I need somebody to peel my like carrot. <laughs> Who said they? Okay, we need to have that peel. You, um, you know what? Grab that garbage can. Bring it closer. Okay. Oh, we have more broccoli. Can I grab yeah. Don't worry. We can either do the broccoli with a menu food processor. Or... We need a whole bunch more greens. We need the green. Of... Just keep on going. Here, I got one more. I don't want it now. I have more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Once it's stored, I'm going to have to do a simple slice of it. And probably put it on the tree. The Christmas tree looks cute, son. Okay. So we need, we need a full green. Okay, so she was done with the score over here. I want um, two things. I want. Watch your finger. A oh, oh my god, I'm I'm so, I was watching. <laughs> oh, okay. Over here. Okay. Okay. I, I want you to do the end. Excuse me. You can't use it. I lost. How's our broccoli? <laughs> okay, besides chopping broccoli, what else would I use a manual food processor for? Onion. 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 Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Salsa. 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 What else? Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Excellent idea. Baby food. Baby food. Wow. That's great. Smoothies. Just, uh, smoothie or smoothies? Smoothies. Smoothies. Yeah. Smoothies. Yeah. Lizards. Okay, so Lizards. now Lizards. what you guys are going to do is these are kind of like lights. Let's sprinkle oh lights on our Christmas tree right over there. So anybody with uh, clean hands can start spreading <laughs> lights. Let's do the lights right there. High pressure chapter. Sprinkle the lights. Those are lights. Okay, and then we're going to have to make the garland. This is our spiral slicer. So this is going to be like our garland in our Christmas tree. So, um... If, has anybody not tried the spiral slicer yet? Is there anybody here who honestly, come on over here. So, so we are going to just go like this. Do you see how I'm just putting pressure and slicing? So just keep on, hold this side. Don't lift it. Okay, yeah. Now just keep pressure on it and keep slicing. Keep. Maybe that's what we should use for our turkey bottle. For your what? <laughs> oh my god, that would have been a great idea. She should get a ticket for that. Okay, so now we've got our lights on our Christmas tree. Let's put our garland. This is like some little, like, um, no, tinsel. This is our tinsel. Let's put some tinsel on our tree. The garland are the cu is the cucumber, believe me. Put our tinsel on our tree. <laughs> Would you like to put our um, red ornaments on our tree? Our ornaments? So now put our ornaments on the tree, and I have some more cherry. Now our ornaments are simply cherry tomatoes that are cut in half. I do want to make a mention, Pampered Chef has several different kinds of knives. 
The green Shrek oh, knives. So just think Shrek inspired knives are real. Let's just say, let's be honest, they're good cheap knives. So this is the kind of knife you take with you when you go to the picnic in the park. You put in your desk at work. You send off with a child at college. Um, the, my favorite of the green knives, oh, well, actually I have two, the two serrated ones, the tomato knife and the bread knife. I would say they're the biggest value of all the knives. But when you graduate to the good stuff, you want to take a look at our German forged knives. Now that is a great reason to join us this month. You're going to get two knives for free. Or it's a great reason to have a show because if you look in your catalog, let's pretend I had somebody be my um, page reader. Just pretend. What page are the knives on? 47. 47. Can every? It really is not true. It's not really 47. Okay. So everybody turn to page 47. Then it gives me an opportunity to talk about the knife block set and how that's already discounted by a hundred dollars. Yes. But then, as a host, you can choose it as a half price item. Or in December, anything at 60% off, think about it. You're going to save over $300 on knives. You're going to be able to get a German forged knife for under $20. It's crazy. It is such a good bargain. Such a good reason to have a show. Such a good reason to join. Okay, so now we have our... Um, Okay, we need snow. Our, our, our uh, cauliflower, we've got our tinsel, we've got our ornaments, we've got our lights. Now we need a little snow. So it is snowing. Oh, I forgot to put the, oh, we have some big ornaments. Let's put some big ornaments. Okay, we have some big ornaments. Oh, come on, you guys, you're going to help me out here. And then it snows over the ornaments. Wait, you forgot the, the oh, spiral. Oh, no, this is last. The garlic. Okay. That's my garlic. You're going to okay, still snow. make room for that. Snow. Okay. Snow. It needs to snow over our Christmas tree. Is the snow cauliflower? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I couldn't tell. It was so finely chopped up. Oh, that's because of my food <laughs> chopper. <laughs> okay. So if somebody, what, is somebody better at doing garland? Who does Gosh, the garland on Gosh, it's you, tree? Marie. Totally. Garland. Nobody's <laughs> ever done your garland. Nobody does garland quite right on yeah, Christmas tree. Looks and then beautiful. somebody always fixes it up. So I think it's perfect. So look at that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And then we have our little star thing. So isn't this fun? Isn't this fun? Let's talk about real briefly what we use. First of all, I totally made a mistake. At the very beginning, if I was doing this at a real show, I before we put anything on it, I would have lifted up my um, crust, and I would have made everybody go, ooh and ah, how beautiful it is. It's baked on a stone. You can, If you want to transform, and that's the big word, use the word transform. If you want to transform your oven or your microwave into a brick-lined oven, bake on or in a baking stone. It is great. You're not going to spend twenty or $30,000 on a brick-lined oven like they have at restaurants or bakeries, but you can spend $30 and have a brick-lined oven in your own home. And um, I'm going to use the Stoneware Bar Pan. It comes in my kit. I got it with my Pamper Chef business, and it's my one of my favorite stones. I use it every day. Um, I use it, my, one of the favorite things that I do since I have discovered that there's a thing called oven-roasted vegetables. I go nuts. I just take my sliced up my vegetables with my simple slicer. Um, okay, I really do have ADD, so at my shows this really happens, and I have a thought, and I keep bouncing like the ball, so, you know, I give you extra credit if you can follow me. But, you know, I slice up my vegetables or cut up, chop my uh, vegetables, and that is the number one place where people waste time cutting, chopping, and slicing. So if there's any one thing that you get tonight, Invest in the things that will reduce the amount of time you spend in the, in the kitchen. Because if you reduce the time, you're going to save yourself time, save yourself money. Your time is worth some money. So I cut up my vegetables. I toss them in some olive oil. Pampered Chef seasoning, like I love Italian seasoning, dill, my Greek seasoning, and then fresh garlic. For that, I use my slicer, my garlic slicer, and then I just lay my vegetables out on my stove. 400 degrees, can you all remember that? What temperature? 400 degrees. 400 for about 40 minutes is my magic number for when I do my oven roasted vegetables. The other thing is once during that time, take a toss your um, vegetables to make sure everything is getting a fair shake. 
And then with five minutes to go, so about 35 minutes into your recipe, pull out these wonderful oven roasted vegetables and take your microplaner and Parmesan cheese and pretend there's a blizzard. And it just is blizzarding a Parmesan cheese storm on top of those oven roasted vegetables. Put it back in the oven for the last five minutes. That Parmesan cheese is gonna go in there. So now what do you have? You have oven goodness. That then is the basic recipe. You could toss your oven roasted vegetables with some linguine. Maybe you uh, hid a chicken breast or two in there when you were baking so your whole meal is done. Maybe uh, while that was going, you had your grill pan going and you grilled some salmon or you know some meat you know to go with your oven roasted vegetables. And I think that it is a, a, a brilliant idea as a side dish. Um, and it is so good for you and so healthy. And the secret is using a baking stone. And what temperature was that again? 400. 400. You guys are good. Okay, so you can totally make that at home. Now the other thing I'm going to say that you really want to have is a food shopper manual food processor. Um, he is my first love. Bald spot on the top of his head. And I really, when I use this, I just have like a little bit of an attitude in my kitchen. But the reason I love my food chopper is in real life, what are you doing at this time of the year? What what special occasion is coming up in two weeks? Stuffing. Stuffing. Okay, my favorite part is stuffing. My daughter will tell you, you can leave the chicken alone, just make stuffing. Okay, so in real life, I have everything on my kitchen. I go up and down the line, and I just chop everything up. I hardly, hardly ever use the cap. There is only one reason I use the cap, and for one little job, and that's every once in a while you have a recipe that says add a quarter cup chopped nuts. I'll do it in the cap, unscrew it like this, and sprinkle it into my bowl. Um, I love it because it's top rack dishwasher safe, and um, Pampered Chef's kitchen brush is really what you need to clean up anything that is kind of complicated and sharp. Okay, and and uh, it will it will save you. And if you passed kindergarten, you could put it back together again because um, these two and this one. Um, and then the manual food processor. What what could the manual food processor do that your food shopper could not do? Mix. 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 Yeah. Your liquids. 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 Yeah. So like in the morning, if I want to have an omelet. If I want to emulsify and make myself homemade honey Dijon mustard dressing, um, I would use this. I would say um, one thing that I ask people at my shows, how many of you have been married for over 10 years? Oh, how many of you that have been married that long are still driving the same car you drove on your honeymoon? <laughs> Nobody. Okay. So um, for not even the cost of a car payment, you could replace your cookware, which is something that you use every day. And cookware has changed over the years. Or you use the snow blower um, analogy. Mm -hmm. How many of you have a snow blower? How many families have? How many times did your husband use that last year? Play with me, Gina. How many times? Five did, times. Five times. But when it snows a couple inches, you're really glad you have it. How much does a good snow blower cost? Four hundred. You're getting away cheap with four hundred. <laughs> yeah. I want okay. your snowblower. All right. That was the one I bought for my mother-in-law. Yeah. So okay. So seven hundred dollars, and you only use it a couple times a year, but you're really glad when you have it when it snows. Well, the same thing. Your kitchen tools are equipment and tools for your kitchen. So um, you use cookware every day. How often are you going to use your manual food processor, your garlic press, your slicer, your mandolin? These are all things that you absolutely need to have in your kitchen. And if anybody questions you, you can say to your husband, here's a shovel. <laughs> Go shovel the driveway by hand, you know. And, you know, th things have changed over the year. You're, you're, you're also using an electric drill, <coughs> not a hand auger like they used to use to drill holes before the invention of electricity. So I really tell you and I encourage you to have the right tool for the right job in your okay. kitchen. Okay. You'll be in and out in a fraction of the time. And wouldn't you agree with me that your time <coughs> is valuable? Okay. Yes or no? Okay. Thank you. So that's my cooking portion, and we could have people talk about the different stuff, but let's move on to 
our next thing, which is our coffee bar or whatever, our appetizer. It stop? No, okay, it's not stop. stopping. Okay. So is that a problem that it's not stopping? Press stop.